I got my water here, it's ready to be drank. Boop. Bada boop. Okay. Continue. Let's. How many hours am I? Uh, yeah, I, I have just about like eighty hours in, right? Double jacking. As soon as uh, as soon as it finishes loading, anyways. There we go. Okay, like, how, how, um... Uh, how about we... Okay, here we go. We are 78 hours in. Griff works so hard to educate our kids. Oh, right, we already talked to them. Yeah, we... Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> This particular area, we ran into uh, a fight that took a little bit of finagling to finish up. Uh, ooh, that could be good on you. Another giant diamond. Short stick! Oh, finally! I can make more uh, arrow shafts. However, I don't know if I will. Hey, Bobby! Mrs. Griff still lets me come over and play, as long as I don't run off too far. Sometimes we do our ABCs. Oh, neat. Hello, Mrs. Griff. This place is already overrun with addicts and orphans, and now I've got to deal with... What? A vagrant creeper? The woman shakes her head and sighs. I should stop caring so much, but the kids shouldn't suffer. They don't deserve this void-infested hellhole we're handing to them. Uh, look around here. What is this place exactly? What is it? Or what was it? Two different things, you know. Used to be a school. My husband Griff and I, we taught the local kids what we could. History, politics, writing, reading, a little cooking, a little alchemy. The parents paid what they could. It was enough. Then the void woken came, and... The Magisters took Griff away to Fort Joy. Said he was luring the monsters in, like my sweet Griff would ever do such a thing. Now it's... it's this. I'm stuck scrubbing Lady Kem's filthy floors in exchange for coin most days. And I don't have the energy to shoo away the junkies that wander in. Ooh, Griff. So you came across him uh, during your days in, in the Joy? You know him? Is he... Was he holding up okay? Not an affirmation. He was a leader. He looked after his fellow sorcerers. That sounds like Griff, all right. I'm telling you, if he were here, he'd have this place cleaned up in no time. Grouchy, how's it going, buddy? I just love, I just lied to her. Um, anyways. If the squatters were gone, I could start fresh. Scour the place down, get the school going again. Get out from under Lady Kem's posh thumb. I don't see what we know what you can do. Well, I wouldn't refuse your help. If Griff can't be here, maybe you're the next best thing. Beryl hums a few random notes, just a few, but in those notes, you discern a crumb of hope. His words are hot and black. Shifts around Guide us there to the star hall. 
do 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 boo. Uh, going good. Thanksgiving was fun, but hectic. Yes, aren't they always? Oh, right. I better get some source back. Haha. <laughs> Where's the bodies? Oh, there they all are. Primarily on you, because you are the main. You you use up so much source, girl. It is insane how much source you use up. I'm glad went, I'm glad Thanksgiving went okay. It went good for me. I feel I'm six pounds heavier. I'm not kidding either. I'm six pounds heavier. All right, there's that. But yeah, I had to remember uh, about Griff. I actually had to remember. I was like, oh god, Griff was way back at Fort Joy. I don't remember. Was he the kitchen guy? Probably. Ooh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I'm glad, uh, glad for the peace and quiet, though, was having RPG with trolls. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of how I feel. Uh, felt about Boulder's Gate as soon as I finished it. Uh, that game is good. Yeah, as soon as I got done with BG3, I was just like, I want more, but I got other games to play. Anyways, um, like this is sort of satisfying it for the time being, but man, am I ready to play Rogue Trader and another run of BG3. Oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, okay, so. That is a massive boost in armor. What is that, like 300? She loses two con. What's your HP now? The clock is yeah, she loses over 280 HP. Slightly unfortunate. But she's kind of getting more of that back through this. Now, the ability I'm going to be sad to see go is actually the reflect 40% of melee damage. I'm going to be sad to see that go. Uh, remaking my Ice Mage build, making it nastier. Oh, God. Come on. It, stop it already. They're already dead. <laughs> like that. Uh, I think it's... Is it the Simpsons or is it the uh, family guy where they're just like, eh, stop, he's already dead. Mm. 
Can't remember. Simpsons? Okay. Oh, man. Really? Oh, man. Really? Oh, that... Oh, game, you are rude. Oh, wow. They actually gained just about 400 armor off of that, off of this. So, actually, that more than makes up for the uh, uh, loss of HP. Huh. I really love that earthquake skill. I do not want to get rid of that ring. Hey, I made the discovery of uh, thunder damage going nuclear with frozen enemies. I'm using that knowledge. What? Oh, that's right. Because... Th <laughs> that's right, because thunder does double damage to objects. <laughs> and while you're frozen, you're partially considered an object. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <sighs> Seriously, stop! They're already dead. Anyways, um, I don't want to get rid of that magic armor ring because then I would lose. Well, oh. Oh, yeah, we would definitely lose a lot of HP out of that. Never mind. Yoink. Not worth it. Let's see. I think that's it, then. Go ahead and send that to low say. I don't think you need this, because... Oh, actually... Maybe that's okay. Follow not the cat man. His words are hot and black. Oh yeah, that's okay. Mod Pollution Flicker him. He will guide us there to the star hole. Yeah, just yeah, most of this is it's gonna get sold, so. Yeah, no, we're not getting rid of it. The clock is Words are hot and black. He shims around the blood pump. Well, skills out, I dare say. March Belusian flicker imps. He will guide us there to the star hall. Look over there. Shiny light. Do you see them? The mist steps. Each one is an echo of Lucian's dreams. Pray be his. They lead through the silver puffs and into the hall. She bows towards nothing in particular and fingers the collar of her priestly garb, then looks at you with dark, sunken eyes. Hey, hold on. Ask why she isn't at the cathedral to take part in the endless prayer. Lucian blesses me in his own way, Red Sunburst. I glide on his breath and feed on his sighs and smiles. For him, I would walk the path of blood. He needs only sing the command. I'm not like the Cat Lord, our Hulu. He slinks around and under and over and inside. He would skim the path and miss the blood. The priest raises her head and screams to the ceiling. Lucian, my wings are ready. 
I will flap and flit flop when your words go blue. A hulu does not deserve your warm. Ask about the cat lord, our hulu. I hear he avoids Lucian's tough maker, the path of blood. He is a defiler of Lucian's will, shine beast. The crypt waits for only divine, devout, devoted. It is not an easy make trial. Bypass the blood and Lucian brings the rumble. Skyquakes across the heavens, what Lucian said. Punishment for the easy walk? The priest waves her arms through the air, drawing your attention to these non-existent skyquakes. Shoo away the doped priest. She's not welcome here. She traces a circle on the floor with her left foot, then shakes her head. You're stymied by the foot gesture, but the head shake is more than clear. Ooh, stand straight and tall. Through her, she may hear Lucian's words, and you say she must depart. I, yes. Your voice. His voice. It makes the air drops quiver. I am called to the cathedral. I will travel there anon. Clouds should twinkle as Lucian commanded them. Come, fireflies. He calls us elsewhere. Glad I went to red. Again, one of the most awkward things about this game. Well, particularly my playthrough is I'm not the persuasion character. Which normally that's the case. I'm normally like, I do all the dialogue. Now I'm just like, Red, take over. <laughs> I just kill things. <laughs> Anyways, before we officially go through, uh, Uh, post of the build. Ooh. What do you got for us? Let's see, once again, so I don't forget, two Tempest, two Tempest Cleric with the Wrath of Storm, two Evocation Wizard, the rest White Dragon Sorcerer, Armor Pagathus for temp hit points and ice damage. Wrath of the Storm for max thunder damage on the frozen enemies, also having access to heavy armor and weapons for a pseudo Eldritch Knight. Warhammer for bonus damage with frozen. Rude. You are rude. Long branch. Oh, that could come in handy to make some arrow shafts. So, how's the eviction going? Yeah, the addicts are gone, and not a drop of blood was spilled. Is that... wait, really? They're gone? That's good news. Maybe our hard work wasn't all for nothing, then. 
Is there anything I can do to show my thanks? Uh, information, what can she tell me about the chems? She pauses and tightens her lips. A moment passes, and then another. She smiles. Well, at the risk of saying something I shouldn't, that whole mansion is weird. She sits in that drawing room serving tea all day. As for him, well, he doesn't even sleep in the same room as his wife. He has his own bedroom, does Kem, and it's always locked. He's got secrets, you see. Trap doors and ladders. Where they lead, I don't know, but his wife knows nothing about them. Anyway, you've certainly been a breath of fresh air. You're no Griff, but it's been good having you around. Ah. Um, I'll take that as a just in case that Red doesn't know that skill. Red doesn't know that skill. Sweet. What did I just pick? Oh, what, okay, what is it? Uh, curse the target to explode after one turn or on death. Dealing 375 to 376 fire damage in three meter ra uh, radius. Hmm. Oh, I thought it'd be more damage than that, but... Ah. Carrying on. Oh god, the cheese guy. Mysterious traitor well, in cheese. Hello, handsome. Care to hear about the power of cheese? I've got wheels and rounds and blocks and rolls and possibly more, but my wares are nuanced. With undertones of something rare. Ask what she has in she mind. She looks you up and down. Then, what's on my mind? Hmm. Why, texture, maturity, taste. But most of all, I'm wondering what tickles your fancy. Looking at you, I think it may be power. Am I right? She's right. So I have not misjudged you. Now, we've established how you feel about power. How do you feel about law? Specifically laws relating to property and the acquisition of goods. Hmm? Get to the point. Look, I'm just trying to sell cheap. Well, hello, handsome. She looks you up and down. What's on my mind? Am I right? So I have not misjudged you. Now... We've established how you feel about power. How do you feel about law? Specifically laws relating to property and the act. All right, get to the point. A glint appears in her eye and she smiles. Then she raises her hands and shows you her rings. Perhaps this is the power you seek. I've been waiting for the right customer to come along for these. But I warn you, power doesn't come cheap. Even for someone as attractive as you. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Tiefling Race allows you to resist both fire and cold with build. <sighs> I thought Tiefling's only fire. Yeah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, where's your game? I have my little helpers here, there, and everywhere. They find me the finest morsels in all of Arcs. After all, why should the most delectable of foodstuffs grace only the tables of the nobility? Point out her poultry selection. If she tells you how to find her helpers, you can get them access to more cheeses. Yes, you could be an asset. Very well. You can find my helpers, the Thieves Guild, within the Ark Sewers. 
in their so-called secret hideout? Here, I'll mark it for you. But approach carefully. The foul stench is hardly the sewer's gravest danger. Can I offer you something special? Something with a... I'm sure you agree when I say no one has as many friends as the big cheese. Old dragon sword. Oh, gotcha. Oh my god. What is with the devs and cheese? I think they had a lot of things to deal with cheese back. Uh. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. With a glint in her eye, she ah, you s All right, let's see what this is. Once, this was a shop. When the going got tough, the tough went shopping. Proprietress gives you a sweet smile. Ooh. First of all, hear her out. You look like someone who's ready for business. You look like someone with an eye for the main chance. You look like someone who needs an investor. That's because she has a mind. I knew it the moment you walked in here. Here comes an enterprising fella, I said to myself. Here comes a man who could take a sum of gold and turn a tidy profit. I can see it in your eyes. Whatever you're up to in the fine upstanding city of Arx, jewel of Lucian's blessed domain, I'd like to back you, financially speaking. But be warned, I demand security. You must make a deposit, and I always, always, always recover a debt. You understand, I'm sure. Ask her to trade. Will there be anything else? Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh... Um, this could take the place of Knight's Promise. Ooh. Ooh. Give him a little bit of strength. And finally, a slot. For something. Ha! Huh? What's your necklace? Uh... And yours? Uh... But he would lose pyro, lose a persuasion. Hmm... Ah, no. Never mind. I bid you good day. She smiles, her sweet smile, dips her head in farewell. Okay, Don't gotcha. Don't try telling me you just wandered in here by mistake.
weirdos in the cellar chase me away. You believe that? I don't. And I tried my best purring and my best meowing. I even did the slink thing against their legs. No luck. In the cellar, she says. Cheap goods or cheap luck? I can't see anything beneath that trash. Oh. 